It's been an amazing adventure with Ramsey's this past couple years, but I've got to find Ramsey's twin. I promised George, I promised her for her birthday, I would find Ramsey's 2.0. I haven't found him yet, but I did find something else legendary. What the hells? Where am I at? <laughs> You're in Florida. Here in Orlando, I brought Guapo, the one, the only, the storage legend. Now, many people may not know, but Guapo's actually a certified mechanic. Certified. So, I'm gonna have him pose as my buddy, but in all reality, he's gonna be checking out the reliability of these vehicles, so we make sure we get the best truck possible for George. Absolutely. I'm not even in the dealership yet. Look at this thing. Look at the fenders, but it, it looks like a car. But it looks like a truck. But it looks like a car. But it looks like a truck. Something tells me they were expecting somebody like me, but not exactly me, because mine is J-E-R-E-M-Y. This is Germay. There's a Germay Hales out there somewhere, but uh, there's a Jeremy Hales here. The important features for us, we gotta have three quarter ton. I gotta be able to actually fit in there, and I gotta have room for all my buddies in the Dude, back as I well. Could, I could yeah. do anything back here. Now, here's here's the other thing. Uh, I don't know if George is gonna be happy with it if it's not sunroof, and I'm not sure if this is diesel or not. We gotta have a tow package, we gotta have three quarter ton for hauling trailers and campers, and we'd like it to be diesel, if at all possible. There's so much room back here for activities. Gotta admit, it reminds me of my first blue truck, wrapped and all. Look at that, there's a button there, what's that? Oh! All right, we got, we got the window back there, but I'm still thinking George is gonna be missing her sunroof. Look at all the bells and whistles here, too. You know, this is cardboard. I mean, th this is kind of what we're used to already with Ramsey's. This looks pretty sharp. Little extra snacks for later. But uh, you got power, the whole deal. I mean, you got two-wheel drive, four-wheel drive. Got somebody behind me honking. David, which way should I go, right or left? Left, left? We're going left. All right, here we go. We're going left. David, how much are they asking for this F-250? No, I can't find out right now, I'm not sure. Okay, we don't know. We're gonna find out. We'll see if this is the right vehicle. Let's see if how it does on a speed bump. That's not bad. That wasn't too bad at all. Oh, we got another, another cracked windshield. I already got cracks in my other truck. Oh, another bump. And let's see how she stops. Not bad. My philosophy is drive fast, no brakes, take risk. Let's see if we can do the rest of this with no brakes. I haven't stopped yet. I'm still at a rolling. I haven't stopped. I'm not stopping. Guapo, how's the back back Back's there? Back's pretty spacious, man. Back. You could harvest a lot of melons back here. There's a lot of room. Um, there, I mean, honestly, it's a smokeless car, no moonroof, but it's really cool that the back window is automatic. David, what do you think are the best features of this vehicle, the F-250? I like the back window, too. He likes the back window. <laughs> back window. <laughs> there you go. How much, David? How much is it they asking? 60 grand. 60,000 on this one. 60,000. You're gonna make it right at that 50 million. Cabbage hours, Patch dog make a right. ears. Make a right. A necessity for George now, because of her thyroid missing, is air conditioned seats, heated seats. Look at this right down here. Dual AC. I actually have AC on right now because it's Florida, and for some reason, I'm still wearing a hoodie. We literally just figured out how to turn the AC on. I've been spinning it, like to go max, like Ramsey's. Spinning it this spinning way. Spinning it, and on the Ford, it actually goes full heat. <laughs> so I've been pumping the heat in. I am dying in this hoodie. Guapo, yeah. Where, where's your hoodie? I gave it to Substitute George because I was sweating profusely. Guapo, look, melons! Oh my God, where? David, David, what about that? Look at that Dodge right there. How about that one? It's not for sale. That one's not for, that's exactly what I'm looking for right there. Not for sale, huh? You're sure, you're positive it's not for sale. 100%. Won't sell me that one. I'm not feeling this Ford. Me neither. I mean, I had that one Ford, it was an F-150. We gotta have three quarter ton. 
This I'm, isn't. Uh, it's just not doing it. There's not enough, not enough melon vibe in this one. So we're gonna yeah, try GMC. All right, so GMC. Uh, we'll just see whatever they have on the lot. Let's Chevrolet. We, yeah, Chevy, GMC, and Battlestar Galactica. Look how hot and sexy this thing is. Okay, I know George loves black vehicles. Even her G or uh, her Jeep is black. This is a GMC. Let's take a quick look here. Okay. Oh, look at that. I know she'll love that. How do you open this? I love that. Is that a... Oh! Oh, and it's got oh. the... Oh, wait, this wait, comes wait. down and this is a step. Oh, man. Wait, hold a second. Oh, no way. Look at this. Yeah, yeah. No yes. way. Yes, and that's Now what? That comes down. Oh, my goodness. How awesome is that? This is right up George's height scale right here. Like, this is a huge selling point for George. Look at that. The GMC actually has a stair step. How cool is that? What do we do? What do you do? I don't even know what you do. I don't Watch know. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. Wow. No, look at this here. Look at this here. Wow. Dude, you see that? Dude, dude, look, look at how Try I'm going to get up. Look at how I'm going to get up. Look, yep. look like, like this. That. Just like and that. bam. Just like Whoa. that. Where are we at? Okay. Toe package right there. Color right there. GMC Sierra. Man, that... That is a huge selling Good point turn. right there. That is a huge selling point. What the heck? Running boards, really important to George. Not so much me, but definitely George because she has to get up in a vehicle. Man, this thing, I gotta admit, this thing is, this thing is, whoa, did that just, I literally feel like I could fly an airplane. Look at this, in and out, like, Land in the airplane, zoom, cool just like that. Telescope. How? Telescope. I don't know what it is, but I know right now I'm falling in love with it. Look at this. The rear view mirror isn't even a mirror. It's an actual camera. The camera is showing me everything behind me. Look at this here. Cell phones go right there. Charging pads. I got all kinds of ports, plugins, the, the, the whole deal. I mean, let's check the AC. Wait, I did that wrong last time. How do I? Okay, and then I got to go this way because yes. red is heat and blue is cold. Did I you got, thermostat? I got, I got the wipers on somehow. Okay, let's see if I can actually... Look at this. It's literally a camera. The GMC has a camera showing you the rear view mirror. I don't think you could ever get brights in your eyes again because it literally is a camera. How stinking cool is that? Look at that rear view camera. I get two views. I get the actual rear view backing up, and then this gives it's me kind like of a, a satellite graphic. view, dude. Look How at that. How cool is that? Satellite view, so it How can tell cool is you that? what's around your truck. Look, look, look. Now I'm going forward, and it's still telling me what's behind me right there. You know who's dude, behind me, dude? My mechanic. Guapo from Storage Legends. Guapo. Guys, the cool thing about the back seat, I'm gonna say is the interior. Now check out that like, it's like almost like a tan black kind of like pattern. I think that's beautiful. And not only are those stripes tan, but check this out. There's the stitching is tan too. It's the little things about the truck that the details, make the truck the details. awesome. Okay, now here's the real question. Let's say George, she gets hangry. She locks me out of my house. Is there enough room back there for like the, the F-250? I could actually pull things out and turn it into a bed. Can you actually sleep I, back there? You know, honestly, I would say that there's a lot of room back here. Maybe not as much as the Ford that we were just in, but there's definitely enough room for me to kick my feet back and take a nice legend nap. 14,098 miles on this. This truck is hot. Okay. How much do you think they're asking? They never so, did tell us. You know, honestly, I don't know. I would say like 60 to 80, but we also have to take into account we have 22.8 miles per gallon. So that's something that also the, the dashboard shows us. So I'm thinking 60 to 80. What do you think? I honestly don't know. Uh, I wish they would have told us beforehand. Now, remember, car salesmen usually try and break down the bulk price into monthly payments. They don't know this. 
we're not going to do monthly payments. It's going to be a lump sum, and that's how we're going to get them to pull the price down as much as possible. We're not going to tell them it's a lunch, lump sum. We're going to let them throw in the financing incentives. We're going to let them throw in the payments for monthly. We'll yeah. let them throw all that in. What can you do? Little what can you do? do? They what know can you do? We are going to pay them in melons, so that's even more incentive for them to give us a good deal. Man, if I had 80,000 melons right now, I don't think I'd be giving it up for this truck. Mm -mm. As much as I'm loving this truck, I notice no sunroof. And I'm not sure George will actually get, you know, be happy about that. Let me get away with that without a sunroof, moonroof, the whole deal. She loves the sun. She loves the stars. And honestly, that might be more important to her for her birthday, that roof up there, than these little extra features of other cameras here and cameras here. This is, there, there's no doubt, this is a gorgeous, gorgeous truck. It may not be the right truck for her though. It's so crazy, when you get close to a curb, it actually vibrates your butt in the seat. My butt was vibrating, warning me that the sensors are getting close to something. That could be a whole new level of fun driving a truck. All right, David, this is a beautiful, beautiful truck. I love it. It has almost every feature. How much are you guys asking? 62000 62000 for this one. I got to know, though, do you have a Dodge Ram? I do. Because so do I. I can't believe it. Oh, my goodness. This is Ramsey's twin. Look at this. It is a Dodge Ram Cummings uh, turbo diesel heavy duty. We've got the we got the step bars there. We got the crew cab. We don't. Oh, look at this. We got custom rims as well. Uh, there is a lot of stuff on this truck. This literally looks like Ramsey's twin. Uh, um, it looks looks like a lot of chrome. Looks like a lot of chrome. We're doing good. Chrome in the dome. Let's go see if this one has a sunroof too. You hear that? It even sounds like Ramsey's. All right, let's go for a ride. You know the first thing I noticed, guys? No sunroof. No sunroof. Ugh, bad news. You know what else I notice? What do you smell, Guapo? Smoke. Smoke. Now, this this mm. was a smoker's vehicle. It is strong, guys, because even my yeah. nose can smell it. Yeah. Yeah, so you can smell Can you smell it, Substitute George? Oh, yes. All right, so this was definitely a smoker's vehicle. Kind of kind of perplexing why you wouldn't want to clean that out first. They're asking $52,500 52, for this. There's 100,000 miles. It's one year older than Ramsey's. It's a 2017. I paid two years ago $45,000 out the door tax and title for Ramsey's with 80,000 miles. So they are well, well above the price point that I paid Absolutely. for original Ramsey's. Guys, you don't want to spend high dollar on something that doesn't even smell like a new car. For one thing that we noticed immediately is there's no butt vibration. Very bad, very not good news. The thing I notice, it drives actually pretty rough. Ashley? Uh, no, actually, okay, yes, Ashley. It drives actually really rough compared to Ramsey's 1.0. And so what we do know is there was actually an accident. We got the deployment history on the passenger side airbag. The, the right passenger side corner has been replaced because of an accident. The airbag was deployed. And so I'm almost wondering, that happened in November 2020. I'm almost wondering if the owner had issues after that and just went, you know what? I'm gonna trade it in and I'm gonna get another truck. This isn't driving very smooth. Honestly, it's not driving smooth at all. Especially, I would, ex I mean, I guess I would expect it to be clean and I would expect it to drive smoother. I'm not sure. I mean, this is the truck. This is the truck I would really want to get George, but I think there's some major issues. We're gonna have to we're gonna have to talk to the sales associate. We're gonna see if these issues can be dealt with or not. Yeah, guys, the key about this truck is it's actually way overpriced. Looks like we're not the only ones gonna be vehicle shopping today. Holy cow! Oh, there was just an explosion. There was an explosion. 
explosion. I'm gonna park this bad boy. Okay, here's what I love about it. It is Ramsey's brother. It's almost a twin. Missing the sunroof, we've, we've mentioned that already. The cons are, there is a major vibration in the front. Something's not smooth, something's not right. Also, it smells like smoke. I'm concerned about that. You can even see oh, yeah. the detailing, you know, you would think a lot of that would be cleaned up. So, I gotta be honest. Not what did you, worth it. There's a lot of shadowing right there too. What'd you guys think about the GMC? I don't think it's worth it. If you ask for my professional opinion, I don't think it's worth it. It got in a car crash. It smells this like one, smoke. This one's not yeah, worth it. It's yeah, it's just not. I mean, I, oh, the, oh, the, the GMC. GMC. Oh, dude, I love the GMC. Oh a lot of features gosh. that I don't yeah. see in most cars. Dude, that thing was sexy. Woo. Could you imagine an Egyptian and and her man friend in that GMC? I actually Woo. could. I actually okay. could. Let's go see if they have any other GMCs. Let's go talk to the sales associate, see what's going on. Let's do it.